As a manager of a team, there are early warning signs of a bad employee that you definitely want to be looking out for. You might have just recruited a new person or taken over another team. Spotting signs of a bad employee as quickly as possible reduces the problems you're going to have to deal with. You can take corrective action with them early before the problems become significant. The last thing you want is to lose lots of time dealing with entrenched underperformance or poor behaviour or causes of big disruptions to the team or missing of team targets or to incur big costs removing and recruiting new staff. The early warning signs of a problem employee that I look out for, which in my experience are big red flags, are firstly, lack of openness. Secondly, lack of self-honesty and self-awareness. Third, refusal to accept or action corrective feedback. And then fourth, poor communication skills. I will explain exactly what to look out for and why it is so important for each of these. Towards the end, I also touch on eight further signs that are commonly seen as signs of a bad employee. If you're seeing any of these eight warning signs for poor employees, the problems have progressed and you definitely want to take action. My name is Jess Coles, and if you're new here, Enhanced.Training shares people management expertise, resources and courses for you to manage your team with integrity and fairness and get outstanding results. I've included links to additional videos and resources to tackle problematic employees in the description below, as well as a video timestamp, so do take a look at these. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. In my 20 years plus of managing teams, the four warning signs of a bad employee I share are signs that consistently come up in the run up to poor behaviour or underperformance coming to the fore. These signs can be the result of other issues, so do investigate as soon as you see any of these four warning signs of a bad employee. The first warning sign of a bad employee is a lack of openness. When an employee is struggling or being lazy or experiencing some other issues with work, they often try to hide their lack of progress or the issues that they are facing. The desire to hide the issue is a pretty natural reaction for most of us. You know, not advertising issues is one thing. Trying to avoid revealing an issue when directly asked about it is a much more serious issue. I usually ask team members to show me progress rather than tell me about progress. You know, I recently asked a new person to show me their progress and he subtly moved the conversation away from the request to avoid showing me anything. Unfortunately, I knew exactly what he was doing and on pushing the issue and checking, it was obvious that he was simply wasn't doing what he was claiming. My trust of that person was pretty much destroyed at that point. Being open is a great way to build trust and it is also a great way to get the help you need. I learnt quickly to resist the temptation to hide issues from managers and colleagues. Instead, I go to them straight away, say I'm having problems and ask for their help. This works a hundred times better, for me certainly, than hiding problems. I appreciate that we don't all work for managers that we trust or have a good relationship with. Proactively be as open and as honest as you think is sensible and don't hide anything if you're directly asked. And as a manager, always keep a careful eye out for any employee that appears to be trying to avoid being open about what they are doing. When you see this, nine times out of ten, there are issues that are causing them to hide what they are doing. The second warning sign of a bad employee is a lack of self-honesty and self-awareness. If an employee is not willing to accept they have a problem, then they are unlikely to learn or change what they are doing. I have had employees, when confronted with concrete proof of underperformance, sit there and deny there is a problem. Most situations are not this extreme. Instead, you often get a list of excuses. Before the other person agrees there is a problem, you have to work through the list of excuses, disproving each one in turn, which takes time. Issues with behaviour are harder to prove and easier for employees to deny to themselves and others. Aside from preventing learning, a lack of self-honesty and self-awareness is a problem because it means that you'll need to intervene a lot more as the person is likely to make a lot more mistakes or keep making similar mistakes. This situation is very frustrating, annoying and time-consuming. You or other team members will spend time rectifying mistakes rather than working on more value-adding work, which in turn reduces team performance. 
A lack of self-honesty and self-awareness is one of the warning signs of a problem employee. The third warning sign of a bad employee is a refusal to accept or action corrective feedback. You know, assuming that you are a reasonable manager, you have given sensible corrective feedback, explained the why and the context, and taken the employee through the impact of not changing on the team or the business. If after doing all this, the employee doesn't make any effort to change, then I would view this as a big warning sign of a bad employee. Dealing with difficult employees and individuals that are not team players will take up your time and energy. Having these individuals in the team will also act as a drag on team performance and create resentment in the team. None of this is good for you or the team. If an employee unreasonably refuses to accept corrective feedback, the first step is to find out why. You know, have they had bad experiences in the past? Do they have issues trusting you? Or are they scared of change? Or are they simply a difficult employee who would be better off not being in your team? Find out the reasons behind the refusal to accept corrective feedback or refusing to take action to change. Then you can decide the best course of action. Don't ignore this warning sign of a problem employee. The fourth warning sign of a bad employee is poor communication skills. You know, the ability to communicate impacts everything a team does. The better and clearer the communication, the easier it is to work as a team and hit team targets. The better the teamwork, the better the results the team produces. Communication covers so many areas, some being you know, firstly the ability to convey information clearly and in an easy to follow way. Secondly, it could be setting expectations. Third, building good personal and professional relationships. Fourth, listening skills. Fifth, persuasion skills. Sixth, giving honest feedback. Yeah, there is a long list. When an employee does not communicate with you as a manager or with their team members, it becomes a lot harder to work with that person or rely on them. When an employee is not very good at communicating, you are much more likely to have issues with conflict between team members, your misunderstandings, confusion and poor expectation management, all of which leads to higher tensions and lower team performance. Poor communication has a very direct and detrimental impact on team performance. Employees that are weak communicators are less likely to perform. Poor communication skills is one of the warning signs of bad employees. Take action to find out what the underlying issues are and help them improve or move them out of your team. And as promised, here are eight more commonly recognised signs of a bad employee. I expect that you've come across many of these signs. When one or more of these signs are present, I would start corrective action with the employee pretty quickly. I personally don't think a manager can afford to let any of these traits or outcomes persist for any length of time within the team without losing team trust and having a negative impact on motivation and team performance. The eight common signs of a bad employee are firstly poor performance over a period of time, secondly a lack of accountability, Your examples are getting excuses and attempts to shift the blame. Third, poor attendance. You know, if the employee is not working, then how can they deliver great work that can be relied on? Fourth, having an overly negative attitude. You know, negativity can spread within the team and impact team performance. And team members can be negative, such as always looking for the problems, and be very useful and productive team members. Work out where the line is for your team. And fifth, overly resistant to authority. When employers go out of their way to make life difficult for the manager or the team, there's a problem. Sixth, a lack of initiative or motivation. Seventh, unwilling or unable to work with others. And then eighth, ethically questionable actions and decisions. These will impact the team's culture, motivation and performance over time. Whenever you see any of these signs, start investigating what is going on with the individual and then take corrective action quickly. So in summary, difficult or problematic team members cause a lot of headaches for you, the manager, and your team. If you're able to avoid small problems becoming much larger problems, or removing problematic staff members while they're in their probation periods, for instance, you'll have a much easier time managing your team, and the team will perform a lot better. Always investigate any of the signs that we've gone through today, find out what the causes are, and then take corrective action if appropriate. The four early warning signs of a bad employee I look out for are 
Firstly, a lack of openness. Secondly, a lack of self-honesty and self-awareness. Third, refusal to accept or action corrective feedback. And then fourth, poor communication skills. And the eight more common signs of a bad employee are, firstly, poor performance. Secondly, lack of accountability, poor attendance, um, having an overly negative attitude, overly resistance to authority, and the sixth, a lack of initiative or motivation. Seventh, unable or unwilling to work with others. And then eighth, ethically questionable actions and decisions. And if you have any questions on the four early warning signs of a bad employee, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you. Thanks very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you again soon.